welcome back guys today we're going to do a flamboyant and I don't have a reference to go by because I've done it so many times um, I should have gotten one of my paintings but anyway just follow along and because this is the flamboyant um, we're not going to focus so much on the sky so I went ahead and just kind of put in some colors in here as you can see I just put some violets and whites and blues and kind of mixed it around because uh, right now that's not important what's important is the tree so what we're going to do is we're going to start by picking up just a small regular straight brush and we're gonna do a little sketch here using black and we're gonna start say here in the middle because again this is the focus and we're gonna do the trunk I'm just gonna fill it in for now we'll come back later and put in some colors here you go and we're going to go here and some more there you go and we're going to do one here and we're going to do another one here and most of that is going to be covered with uh, branches and also the flowers that goes along with that so let me put this one down and grab a liner let me wash that first I'm picking up a liner and we're gonna do the same I'm just gonna do this just to kind of give it an outline of where I'm going to start putting some flowers in. And the flamboyant tree, also as a Ponciana tree here in Florida, um, it's almost like an umbrella. If you look at it pretty hard and far away, you're going to see it's like shaped like an umbrella. So there you go. Some over here. This is just to guide us. It's just a guide. Again, these are going to be covered so we don't have to be defining anything right now. Okay. That one's gonna just kind of disappeared. Okay, wash that, and we're gonna pick up some magenta, something dark. We might even mix it in with a little black here, just to kind of make it really dark. That's what we're looking for, so the rest can stand out. So magenta with a little bit of black, and this is a uh, angle brush. And we just gonna kind of tap. And the trick to this, and a lot of uh, people won't tell you this, but it's the trick to this is tap very lightly, very lightly to get these pretty effect. Okay, that's the whole trick to this. Just kind of light tap, 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 and we're gonna fill it in. Tap, 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 picking up some of those dark colors tap 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 very lightly very lightly shaping the tree to the form of an umbrella tap 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 see how easy that is and the fuller you make it the prettier Tap, tap, tap. Here, tap, tap going down. 
tap, tap, tap. Don't forget to tap. Tap lightly. There you go, this one's going to come down. Tap, tap. The fuller, the better. Okay, a little bit more. Tap, tap, tap. And don't try to cover all those pretty blues from the sky. Put some in, but not, not enough to cover. You don't want to cover those pretty see-through colors on the sky. Whether it's a sunrise, a sunset, you don't want to cover it. Okay, just tap, tap, tap. In my island, uh, we love this tree. It's a symbol. We love it. There you go. Everybody loves the flamboyant. Sometimes when we drive into Tampa, I see them in the summer um, on I-4 and they just look so beautiful it brings me back to the island okay that's enough that that color now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start putting in some red I just clean my brush and I'm keeping the same brush so let's put in some red in there tap 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 move it around move it around and again I'm not covering that magenta I really need some of that color so through it again just like I did with the sky lightly lightly because if you press too hard those pretty effects of the angle brush will disappear Side, side, sideways, sideways. See how it's forming that umbrella look? Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clean my brush and I'm going to go ahead and pick up a little bit of yellow and we're just going to kind of tap the very lightly very lightly very lightly because the flower on the flamboyant tree oh I picked up red that's okay um, turns orange now um, that orange color if or, or yellow when you look at a flower a flamboyant flower you're gonna see that it has some white some yellow, red, pinks. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up bright red. I'm just trying to fill it in as much as I can without covering the sky colors in between. Just giving it different shades. Here and there. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. Very lightly. Very lightly. There's no secret to this. As long as you type in lightly. Okay, I'm going to clean my brush. And I'm going to add a little bit of white to that. Grab it from here. Just a little bit of white. Picking up purple there. Let's see. There you go. Just a little bit. Here and there. Jump around. Don't stay in one spot because if you stay in one spot too long, it's just going to become one color. You want to have all those pretty colors all over the place. I'm going to put some green. It's almost like a yellow green. I don't know if you can see this. 
it's a pretty yellow green here it is if you can see that color yellow green here's a green pretty green and put it on the knee on the knee not on top well, let's keep it on the knee a little bit more these are the leaves underneath tap tap very lightly don't tap too hard because if you tap hard you're gonna see the difference on how it just becomes uh, a little blob of paint and that's not what you want okay isn't that beautiful okay a little bit more I don't think we need that much okay clean your brush again let's pick up some of that red just want to make sure that we have what we're looking for which is the red jump around jump around beautiful look at that jump around if you put too much green or too much yellow or too much white whatever color you think you put too much of just go ahead and and cover it with the red look at that isn't that gorgeous beautiful tree beautiful tree look up google flamboyant trees and you'll see the beautiful pictures you'll see over this tree okay. what we're going to do now is we're going to put some color on the tree itself so let me pick up a small square brush and pick up some raw sienna and burnt sienna mix it up with a little bit of white just to sheer it up let me just pick up a little bit more white here on my palette. There you go. And we're going to put it in. There you go. Put it in there. Put it in there. Doesn't have to be exact. Just put it in there. Put a little bit more white here. Let's just say the sun is hitting from this angle. Blend it in. Beautiful. Now let's put in some grass in there, okay? So let's grab this half inch square brush just to kind of tap 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 let's just tap in there picking up black and yellow we're going to tap 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 and you can even scrub if you like scrub scrubs scrub scrub If you hear me scrubbing, that's what I call the scrub. I'm tapping, tapping, here and there, tap, tap, just so it can all come together. There you go. Beautiful. I like it okay now what happens is that when this tree is in full bloom it starts uh, letting go some of its pretty flowers so what we're going to do is we're going to take some red and we're just going to kind of tap it here very lightly very lightly that's telling you that there are flowers on the floor not many 
for some. See, and the wind just kind of blows it around. You pick up some of that yellow. Just too much. Let's dip it back in there. We don't want it to be so yellow. Beautiful. Flowers have fallen off the tree and it has landed nearby. Just beautiful. Okay, guys, I hope you like that flamboyant so far. So good, right? I know sometimes it's hard to stop what we're doing because you just want to continue painting and painting and painting. But once something is complete and you like it, you need we need to stop and put a little bit more highlight here. Look at that. The sun is really hitting on that side. Which means I'm going to lighten up some of the grass on this side. So let me grab some more yellow and that pretty green. That yellow green, I'm just going to kind of put it here. Because this is where the sun is really hitting on this side. I'm really happy the way this has turned out. Sometimes it surprises me because sometimes when we try so hard it doesn't come up but when we just relax and just doing it just to have fun everything falls into place. I'm going to add a couple little birds here coming home into the tree. Just picking up some black with my liner. They're coming home Little birdies are coming home. They're happy. They got a nice place to live. They're coming home. Okay. How many do we have? We have five. I think we're going to leave five. And then we're going to add. You see what I mean? It's hard to stop. I just want to keep on going and going and going. Like the little Duracell battery doesn't know when to stop. But we're going to do this. How's this? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And just kind of put some in between here. You see that? So they can show. Okay, I'm going to have one come here. Look at this. How about one here? A little bit. And one here. And you got to tell yourself to stop because, like I said, it's, it's hard once it's looking so pretty you just want to keep adding and I think we should stop you see what I mean we should stop but why am I not stopping come on Gloria give it up stop 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 okay I will I will all right that's beautiful all right well you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna sign it because once I sign it I don't go back this is it once I sign it it's done I'm going to sign right here. Put some of that white. Just mixing it with my black, but that's okay. There you go. Go ahead and try your hand on the flamboyant from Ponciana tree. Have fun with it. Do different backgrounds. Like I said, I didn't do this uh, during the recording, but I did it before because my focus was the tree. And I hope you like the tree. There you go. 19, I'm going to go ahead and put 19 here. I usually do it in the back, but I'm going to do it here. That's 19 for the year. Okay, guys, I'll see you on our next adventure. God bless. Adios, amigos. Bye.